Dear students, in this unit we will talk about the zooflagellates. Zooflagellates are actually the excavates which are the protist with modified mitochondria. They don't have a typical specialized mitochondria, rather they have a mitochondria which is atypical, which is not just like the animal cells or the plant cells have. And they have very unique flagella which are different from the other organisms. These are mostly heterotrophs. Heterotrophs which means that they obtain their own food by different means. They cannot synthesize their own food. They have to obtain their food from different sources. Now they are mostly unicellular organisms and they have spherical or elongated bodies. Now in the structure you can see typical excavates or zooflagellate and you can see that uh, there are two distinct identifications which can be very prominent in that one. One is the present of whip-like flagella. These are the flagellas. And the other one is that they have a typical mouth or oral groove. This oral groove helped them in uh, floating in the aquatic environment and absorbing or ingesting different food particles or macromolecules which helps them uh, become the source of energy for them. Now, zooflagellates are traditionally classified in a single phylum, although they are polyphyletic. Polyphyletic mean that they don't belong from a single parentage. They have emerged as a single phylum though, but they have come from very different phylogenetic trees. Now, biologists have grouped them in different, uh, in different subgroups on the basis of uh, their evolutionary uh, relationship and included them in the same group called known as exacabates. Now, most of the exacabates, they are endosymbionts. They live in anaerobic environment, mean they do not live in the environment which contains oxygen. Now, they don't have mitochondria or if they have mitochondria, it is not the specialized one just like the animals or plants have. Their mitochondria help them in uh, the process of fermentation only. So they can only do glycolysis in their mitochondria, the TCA cycle is absent. So these are very unique protests which we have discussed in this unit.